welcome back and welcome to another book talk. I have read some really amazing books recently so you can expect quite a few book talks from me because there are so many books I want to shout about. Um, so I'm just going to get started. Today I'm going to talk to you about How Not to Fall in Love Actually by Catherine Bonetto. Um, I have a paper copy of this one obviously um, but I actually ended up listening to this on audiobook just because that was what I could fit into my schedule at the time. I listened to it on audiobook on a car journey with my mum uh, so we both read this one um, but the last time I checked this book on Amazon, it was only 99p on Kindle. Um, so just pause the video here and go and download it because this was such a fun read and I would just recommend it to anybody. Uh, let me read you what it says on the back because this kind of gives you a feel and um, it'll assure you that I'm not giving you any spoilers here because it's quite a lot of info on the back here. So... Life, as any chancer knows, is 10% planning, 10% design, and 80% totally winging it. So join Emma George as she guides you through how not to become accidentally knocked up at the age of 27, how not to unceremoniously dump the father of your child, and then how not to lose the job that even though you hate it is the only thing between you and being homeless. Along the way, discover that, even though your mother is perpetually vexed by your life choices, she loves you really. Having a Doberman only ha owning handicam wielding felony obsessed octogenarian as a neighbour is not as awful as it sounds. Sometimes, just sometimes, your bossy younger sister may actually be right. Um, that blurb mentions a whole host of characters who are kind of what makes this book just so amazing. Um, it mentions, obviously, our main character, Emma, and Emma just seems to be having everything thrown at her. Obviously, it mentions here that she's unexpectedly pregnant. She's also unexpectedly single and jobless. Um, but no matter what the world throws at Emma, she may complain about it but she deals with it in her own way and that is what makes Emma so magical she kind of never really loses hope she might moan and whinge but actually deep down she is handling it all uh, it also mentions on here Emma's mum Emma's mum was a hilarious character in this book I thought at the beginning that I wasn't going to like her um, but I found myself really warming towards her and she's definitely a character who's in there for a little bit of comedy and also a little bit of kind of grounding or link with the real world so to speak when kind of Emma's swept up with everything that's going on around her. Um, it also mentions Emma young, Emma's younger sister Alex. Alex I just loved right from the start. Um, Alex doesn't live in uh, the UK, she lives somewhere else and that kind of changes over the course of the book as well and so a lot of her communications with Emma are over the telephone and again she's a real grounding influence on Emma and I, oh, I really loved Alex. She was so excited about everything and I just, I, I'd like to know what happens to her so you know if we could have a follow-up book of what happened to Alex that would be really quite good. Um, obviously the whole situation with the pregnancy and the joblessness is kind of the main part of the storyline but to me the characters made it in this book. They were just uh, so funny. The octogenarian neighbour, just hilarious uh, and um, Emma's new lodger also. Uh, I just fell in love with him and I liked him so uh, he really made it for me. Um, it was really really good to uh, have picked up this book. I think I mentioned in a in my wrap-up actually that I had just commented the other day on how I hadn't read a book about somebody who has a baby in a while and it's a topic that I really like in a book. I like reading about you know how people cope with pregnancy and new mothers and new families and things like that and so this book came along at just the right time because it was exactly what I wanted to read about at that time and uh, as you can sort of imagine from what I've said about Emma so far she kind of handles it in her own way. There are some real 
laugh out loud moments in this one it definitely had us had us giggling on our car journey as an audiobook it was actually really really well done the um, narrator of this audiobook knew her accents the only one she kind of fell down on slightly was a Scottish accent um, we weren't so convinced on that one but all the other accents she just brought the characters to life made them absolutely come off the page um, and yeah just it's a hilarious moments and completely relatable things that emma goes through that we either have experienced or will know someone who has experienced in their life it's it's real life uh but a very very funny take on real life and as i said anything that could go wrong for poor emma does go wrong for poor emma i just i could not rave about this book enough such a funny read so true to life and just great fun from start to finish so if you are looking for a book to add to your summer reading put in that beach bag definitely definitely get this one and as i said last time i looked it was still on offer on kindle so go and download it now definitely okay i will have another book talk for you soon because as i said i've read so many good books recently um so if you don't want to miss that one then do click the subscribe button and if you liked this video then give me a thumbs up it's very much appreciated so i will see you in my next video. Bye!